St. Louis, Missouri. Looks calm and peaceful this morning, doesn't it? Don't be fooled. With a murder rate of 68 per 100,000 people, St. Louis ranks fourth in the country with the highest murders and with an overall violent crime rate of 2100 per 100,000 people, St. Louis ranks number one. It is the most violent city in America, the most dangerous city in America. It's no surprise that the city is losing population. People are fleeing to the suburbs because they're safer, right? Not necessarily. I'm on the other side of the Mississippi River in Illinois, in the notorious town of East St. Louis, which is right over here. What is it like here in this suburb of St. Louis? Well, I'm gonna jump into the Bronco, drive into town, give you the statistics, and we're gonna find out. East St. Louis was once a bustling, thriving city, growing rapidly. And in 1950, it reached a population of 82,000 people. In 1959, it was called an All-America City. And because of its status as a industrial and manufacturing powerhouse, it was nicknamed the Pittsburgh of the West. But then the 60s happened. Industry, manufacturing collapsed. People f moved out of the city in droves and the population dropped massively with its tax base dropping as well. Today there are about 18,000 people here, a little bit more. Now when that happened, poverty and crime became, uh, became a way of life here. And for many years, East St. Louis has been the murder capital of the United States. Now, the city's working on it, an initiative that has the police working in the community has dropped crime a little bit. It's worked. Here's the numbers released by the state of Illinois. 36 murders in 2019, 25 last year in 2022. The mayor is so proud that he started to proclaim East St. Louis, East Safe Louis. Should he be doing that? Well, let's look at the numbers. Now, the metric that's usually used is per 100K, but there's only 18,000 people here. So uh, how do we scale it up? By the way, there's St. Louis right there. Well, we just uh, divide 100,000 by 18,000 people here, and that gives you a number of 5.5. So we multiply 25 homicides by 5.5, and you get 137.5 so that's the uh, that's the rate here 137.5 per 100k how does that match the most dangerous cities in the United States well here's uh, here's the list you got uh, Jackson Mississippi for the second year in a row number one with 92 per 100k where does East St. Louis last year stack up well, you can see for yourself. Number one. So perhaps the mayor shouldn't be saying that quite yet. Anyway, there are a lot of historic buildings here. So as I enter downtown, uh, I'm going to show them to you. Now, before I start exploring downtown, let's take a look at the statistics to help paint a picture of the town. See what they tell us. The median age here is 43. Uh, it's a little bit older. That tells you that young people are leaving. Gender breakdown 57% female, 43% male, 15% of these females are widowed. Here's the race breakdown 95% black, 2% white, 1% Hispanic, 1% Asian, 1% mixed. This is the median household income $26,000 a year. That's about $500 a week. Uh, that is a third of what the uh, U.S. average is. I think the national average is around 70,000. Poverty is 29%. Children 17 and under, 42%. So uh, that's pretty high. 
and um, people 65 and older poverty is 20 percent a number that kind of sticks out 20 percent of the town is married u.s average is 50 percent so uh, people don't get married here one more number the median home value here is fifty seven thousand eight hundred fifty seven thousand dollars can get you a house here if you want to live in East St. Louis anyway time to explore the downtown now there are a lot of beautiful old buildings here that are on the National Register they're abandoned of course this is one of them the Majestic Theater built in 1928 when it was built it was one of the grandest in the United States uh, but it's sat empty for a very very long time I uh, hate to see that that's a damn shame Let you look at it uh, this is the heart of downtown here you can see that it's pretty much an empty shell they've got a building here called the Spivey building tallest building in town the only skyscraper I'm gonna get a little bit closer to it it's right there and I'll tell you about it but anyway yeah this is main intersection in town even one of the bulbs is out in the lights in the traffic lights look down that way uh, I don't think that is happening anymore there no more live entertainment I would think all right I'm heading down this uh, little side street towards the Spivey building um, built in the mid 1920s by the wealthy owner of the local newspaper his name was Spivey his idea was to kick off the Saint, uh, East St. Louis downtown make it one of the greatest in the area um, his commitment to the future if you will uh, it failed though the building was the prominent address in the city for many years but in 1980 the last tenant left and this building has been sitting here empty for 43 years it's astonishing uh, they've got the street on either side of it blocked off you can't come in here except for this little side road I just took the reason being um, is because the building is literally disintegrating onto the street and it's become dangerous uh, you can see the debris on the ground here so they don't want people walking around it but this little side road here you can still get in here now I'm not gonna go in there guys sorry <laughs> I came out here yesterday and I saw well I saw some folks walking in there that I wouldn't want to tangle with so uh, I'm not gonna go in there but you can get a little bit of a look here isn't that something the problem for the city is that it's uh, too far gone to renovate but they can't afford to tear it down so it just sits here disintegrating into the street crazy isn't it now see I was just there you can see the roads blocked off and uh, yeah pretty much every building here in downtown East St. Louis sets empty and of course there's 
trash everywhere. And this building over here, uh, in the middle of the frame now, that sets empty as well. It looks like they're attempting to renovate it though. There's some work being done. But you can see all the glass is out. All right, well, I want to look around a little bit more. I am uh, driving by the police station. I'm going to show you that real quick. East St. Louis Police Department. You know what? I don't think that's it. <laughs> that building is sitting empty. Looks like maybe they have a new building here. You hate to see that building sitting empty. That was Art Deco. It was a beauty in its in its day. Yeah, this is probably the police department here. It is. There it is. Okay. That looks better, doesn't it? All right, here's another look coming into downtown from a different direction. Uh, there's the Spivey building. There in the frame, the tallest building. You can see the road is blocked off. To keep people from uh, walking by it. They still do. I was here in the early afternoon yesterday and there were, there were people there. I'm going to uh, drive behind the Spivey building here. Give you a look. something isn't it huge building like that just sitting empty for over 40 years it's astonishing okay, let me go to the side here and show you Pretty sure there's people in here. Look at that dumpster. It's on fire. See it? Burning something in there. I bet there are people watching me right now. Anyway, that's as close as I'm getting, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty brave, but I'm not that brave. Anyway, this is behind, uh, I'm behind that theater. Beautiful old building. Just, just sits empty as well. You see a lot of open areas here. This uh, has a name, it's called uh, urban prairie there were once buildings here maybe even houses but they have been cleared out and it's returning to nature I mean you can see downtown's right there I don't know if you can see the uh, gateway arch in st. Louis there let me put it right in the middle frame yeah, there's the uh, gateway arch But yeah, it's just been cleared out. There's still some uh, old buildings here, but they have cleared many, many of them out. Uh, it's really interesting. And an old, uh, looks like shelter here. Second chance shelter. 
I'm gonna get out of the way here. The bus trying to get past me. As I drive down the street. Now here's the uh, street on the other side of the Spivey. Again, blocked off. That might be open. Local Legends Listening Room. Yeah, there's another look at the uh, gateway arch. Let me zoom in a little. There you go. St. Louis, Missouri over there. Let's look around a little bit more. Now I went a few blocks out and started roaming the neighborhoods a little bit. It's uh, not bad really. I expected it to be like Detroit or Gary, Indiana and to see a lot of abandoned homes. And there are a few but it's uh, nothing like those two cities because for the most part they have been cleared out I'll show you some more areas here in a bit but yeah there are huge swaths where uh, of the city where it's been cleared out and uh, there's just nothing there it's become like I told you earlier urban prairie See, I'm going to show you some uh, of this urban prairie I was talking about. The street here was once filled with houses, but they've uh, all been cleared out. Almost looks like being in the country, doesn't it? Instead of being uh, in a city. Of course, um, you're not going to see this kind of trash in the country. Toilet stool, yeah, toilet there, a bunch of tires. I guess that's one of the things that happens. It becomes a dumping ground. But yeah, there were once houses lined along the street. And they have been all torn down. It's returning to nature. Uh, a lot of the neighborhoods look just like this, though. I mean, some of them look a little rough, but... They're not completely falling apart. Uh, some of the houses uh, look really nice. In good shape. These, um... You know, you get a house like this, for instance, on the on the coast, it's going to cost a lot of money. But you could probably pick them up cheap here. But like I said, <laughs> a lot of them have been torn down. There's still a few. Here's one right here. Yeah, that one... Um, That's definitely abandoned. You can see the former beauty in a lot of these houses though. I'm actually impressed with the St. Louis or East St. Louis housing that's been left. A lot of it looks great. Now I'm on State Street, the main drag in town. I'm going to uh, just drive back into downtown. 
give you a look at the city. Today is Tuesday, about 9.30 in the morning. A uh, lot of, yeah, a lot of empty buildings. I don't know, I don't know if East St. Louis can make it back. I mean, if I'm a, I don't know, if I'm a young person, as soon as I'm old enough, I'm out of here, and you're seeing that. You can see that with the uh, median age, as high as it is here. And uh, you see this quite a bit. Stoplights that have went dark. They just have stop signs everywhere. In lieu of the stoplights. It's uh, bleak here. There's really no other way to describe it. Let me head this way. Oh, I'm not going to head that way. That is a one way. Um, an empty gas station. Uh, here's another um, urban prairie. If you will. Yeah, people, um, I don't know, they don't recycle tires, tires here, do they? <laughs> A lot of tires just piled up. Anyway, I saw what looked like a bar or something here. I'm not sure if it's open. Well, probably not. Now, over here, they got this road blocked off. Huh, not sure what's going on there. Turn around and take another look. That's a no-go zone for some reason. See, it's blocked off on the other side too. A couple of houses in there. And a mobile home. Hmm. Wonder what's uh, going on there. Maybe someone knows they can uh, put it in the comments. Well, everyone, I'm going to end the video here at one of East St. Louis landmarks. The Gateway Geyser. One of the tallest fountains in the world. When it's working. Apparently that's only occasionally. Which is kind of a bummer. I really wanted to see it. It shoots water 630 feet into the air. And it's a companion piece to that. The Gateway Arch which itself rises 630 feet in the air. I bet it's pretty spectacular when it's on. But it's not. Anyway, uh, okay guys, so that's going to be the end of this video. We're heading east. Going to see, or going to go into Ohio, then West Virginia, then Pennsylvania, then New York. All that's coming up. So be looking for those.